And these actors are pretty, pretty amazing at the top of their game. I, I, I don't. I mean, I, I was, I was really taken by Garth for sure, and just to spend time with him, let alone be directed by him or drawn by him as, as a lion, as an animated character. That was all great, but just spending time with him, he's, he's. He kind of stays a child in so many ways. He, you know, he can do every voice in there, probably better than any of us actors. He, you know, he directs, he writes. I mean, he's, but he stays like in the sandbox. Fano told me that they really wanted us to write a new song for the film. Uh, and then he went and told Garth that Edge really wants to write a song for the film. In fact, he had the idea. It was his idea. <laughs> and when Garth heard the song, eventually he went, now I know how the movie ends. So it was his vision. He, well, he figured it out. I had a conversation with him close by here, actually, a walking around that went on and on and on about singing, the nature of singing, and what would dry up a voice. Because this is the story of a lion who's lost his roar. And I said, well, grief can either open up a voice, as it did with me when I was a kid, or it can shut things down. If you lose your muse, if you lose your reason to sing, and, and so, you know, a bit of, I brought a bit of Irish to it. Melancholy, you know. Was, you know, we're sort of crying into your beer type people. But we had a great laugh. <laughs>